Hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 99 of Sinarukana. Ah, where we are in the middle of the festival. In the middle of the festival, we got interrupted. And Raymay decided she pretty much wants to see everything. <laughs> and is not too thrilled about no Zomu questioning her about it. Pretty sure I said this on the last episode. Yeah, I think you did too. Mouse they put. I'm not walking around for you. Go explore yourself if you want. <laughs> you can behave or you can enjoy baldness. Which will it be? <sighs> Why do I have to suffer like this? I slump as she keeps tugging on my hair threateningly. Alright, where to next? Oh. Another choice. <laughs> huh. Okay. Oh, this one's just full of it. It is full of it. You know, if this game has more than, what, 50 choices, you're going to run out of save spots. <laughs> it shouldn't. Chap one chapter it already has like three. Alright, what are we gonna do here? What was Raputin trying to do? The zombie's console will probably be fun. Uh, going to the nurse's office would be because nice, I suppose, Chisita. but she's probably busy. Yeah, but Jazita's probably busy. So just Jazita, Raputna, or Nozomi. Uh, going uh, looking for Nozomi could be fun. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Watch the look, look. Rain's blindfolded right now. <laughs> I'm also kind of interested in Raputna's. Yes, that is a good one. Let's hope she isn't trying to mark any of the trees or anything. Well, uh, she's part of the waitress group in the cafe. She was? Wasn't she? No idea, because she had the uh, chance to go to the cafe uh, earlier. Uh, yeah, she's that's, that's, that, that's true. It was, yeah, because it was Thalia, Naya, and... Evangeline. Euphoria. And Euphoria, yeah. What's Raputna doing? I don't remember. Well, try to find her then. I think she's just looking around. I still want to see the concert, though. Fine, then go to the concert. Ignore Raputna. <laughs> Rain says that you're taking a long time to say. Whoa, that's pretty noisy. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's supposed to be filled with people. <laughs> it is! I heard them chewing all the way out in the hall. Looks like they're really going all out. Yeah, but what's with you? Who made you king? I made myself king. Problem. What the heck? I was going to argue with her, but I'm interrupted before I get the chance. Hey! You made it just in time! I was told about a dozen times over that I had to because she was trying her hardest. I don't think I really had much choice. 
She probably would have cried if you hadn't. So, you know, so they need no Seriously, I can picture Nozomi with tears in her eyes already. He promised he'd come over and over again. Was that supposed to be Nozomi? That was awful. No, it sounds like the same voice actor to me. Really? I thought it sounded just like her. Yeah, didn't need to make her. Hey, no, hey, not even close. In my defense, voicing a character trying to voice another character without just sounding <laughs> like that character is incredibly hard to do. Okay? <laughs> Especially if you voice both of them. <laughs> yeah. What? How can you both say that? Then Nozomi hasn't sung yet? <laughs> Almost. Everyone is waiting over there. Ikaruga's here too. Got it. I'll go over and watch with them. Okay, apparently neither is already here. And Rabatna. <laughs> So what, uh, all the choices would have probably brought us here anyway? <laughs> what was the third choice? Uh, let's say it was... Nozomi, Rapetna, or... Jazita. Jazita, that's it. Go to the hospital wing. Hey, uh, yeah, whatever. Ah, uh, Nozomi, you're finally here. Like, Katima is here, Satsuki. Where have you been? It's about to start! Although I'm guessing that if you chose uh, Raputna, you would instead go somewhere else, <laughs> and to look for her and get caught up in something else altogether, and not actually find her. Maybe. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry, you're just in time. Go on, take a seat up front. She's nervous, but it looked like she was very excited for this. I've been looking forward to hearing what kind of song she'll sing. Everyone looks up to the stage, where the curtains are still down. The crowd's buzzing too, eagerly looking forward to Nozomi's performance. Whoa! Wow! It's getting pretty noisy. The curtains slowly rise, and once they're all the way up, the spotlights come on, showing the band with Nozomi in the middle. When they start playing, I can see why everyone was looking forward to it. Decent. I like the uh, anime version of her. Then there's a <laughs> cartoon version of her behind her. Nozomi looks a little unsure at first, but eventually she smiles a little bit and starts to sing with her whole heart. Ooh, she's got quite the good singing voice. Liking the music, too! Yeah, it is nice. Seems like a more, slightly more jazz version of battle music. I don't know why jazz, but... Classic? I don't need you to tell me that! Keep quiet! Ugh, how dare you! I know! Despite singing well, 
she still stumbles a little bit. I mean, it's not like she's an amazing singer. Oh dear goodness, don't make me sing. But you can hear the passion and enthusiasm clearly in her voice. She's pretty good. You know, there was a song she wanted you to hear. That's how she could work so hard. Oh? Really? Yep, so make sure you take her out to karaoke when we get home. Yeah, when we get home. Every now and then, when she starts to falter, she nervously glances over here and finds a rhythm again. Everyone cheers as they hear her sing. I have to say that I'm kind of proud of my childhood friend showing off to everyone else. Kind of jealous too, though. No, no, what am I thinking? Anyway, I should tell her what a good job she did after she finishes. All the evening events for the festival are done. Most people are already asleep and the whole school is quiet. It's just Nozomi and me, looking up at the sky in a, in a sl sleepy, calm dusk. I hand my water bottle to her. There. You're thirsty, right? Ah, uh, 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 yeah. Thanks. Are you sure you don't want anyone else here? Yeah, I'm fine with just you and me. Wow. I'm surprised she just blurted that out like it's nothing. She must still be a little dazed from all the festival stuff. She'd never usually say something like that out loud. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm here too. <laughs> I'm sorry, you and Minobe are with us too, aren't you? <laughs> you two go play out in the hall. She's saying not to forget her too. <laughs> yeah. Can't ever shut up, can you? What? Now, now, Nozomu, are you trying to start an argument? No. Yes, you are. Don't go making strange assumptions about me. Okay, I won't, but you're not behaving yourself either. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you always actually want to thank her, but you keep saying things that start fights. What? Why would I want to thank her? <laughs> what? You want to thank me? Say whatever you want. I'm listening. It's her arrogance that pisses me off. I pinch both her cheeks and tug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, stop that. You ruin her cute face. <laughs> yes. 
You're just encouraging her to be smug. She's arrogant enough already, in spite of how she looks. She should be a little more humble. Nozomu, she's always helping you out, right? Don't be like that. Why do you think so? You just seem a lot happier since you started talking to her. Not even close. It is true, jeez. Before you used to always mope around and hide how you felt. I think I know what you are hiding now, but no matter how, my, how much I tried to talk to you, there were lots of times I was worried about how depressed you looked. I know you are always arguing, but you've been completely different since she appeared. So he was always moody when he was by himself, huh? Not even close! Ow! I flick her in the forehead. She completely deserves that one. I couldn't do it. Huh? I couldn't make you smile, but she can. I think you know that too. Thanks to her, you're not bothered by any strange things anymore. Sometimes, Nozomi can be really sharp. She's right. I was always worrying about my power when she was with me. And I forced myself to try to feel better so I wouldn't worry her. If she asked me if I was really smiling back then, I wouldn't be able to honestly say I was. <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty smart. Just like you say, he's doing much better thanks to me. Not even close! <laughs> I flick her with two fingers on both hands. All at the same time. Minobi, can you get rid of her for a while? Minobi grabs Reimei's clothes like she understood me perfectly and goes floating off. Wish they'd shown a good picture of that. No, right? You know, if uh, Minobu lands on the ground with the rain pinned under her, it'll be a sandwich. <laughs> with Minobu as the bread. What are you doing? Hey, Minobu, let me go! Uh, Nozomu, remember this? Uh-huh. I'll remember. Lucky! Lucky? Well, some of that's... Minobi carries her away, Reimei screaming the whole time. Thanks, Minobi. Goodbye, Reimei. 
<laughs> you two are helpless. What are you talking about? Honestly, she's so annoying. Don't lie, you like having her around. You know, Nozomi. Hmm? Yes? Seriously, what exactly are you waiting for? You look like you're about to burst. It's just us right now. Not even Reimei and Minobi. And... I'm not going to say this again, so... Um... You sang really well today. So... Uh... I guess... You could say this is a reward. What's the matter? You don't need to tell me if it's too hard. Just tell me when you're ready. No, um, well, yeah. I mean, she has helped me, but, you know, it's because of her that I realized something. You've been looking out for me. I really am grateful to you, so don't let things get you down. It's incredibly awkward telling someone you appreciate them. Even worse if it's your childhood friend. But it's thanks to her being with me that I've made it this far. Man, why am I even talking to her like this? This is all Reimei's fault. What? Yeah, thank you. Reim and I were going to keep looking out for you, okay? Whenever it hurts or it's hard, you can talk to her and me, okay? I know I'm not very reliable, but... You don't need to try so hard. No, I'll be there for you. It's, some, it's something that I want to do. Taking care of me isn't a hobby, you know. Who cares? Taking care of you is something that gives me a reason to live. Busy body. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Renob, you can come back. Huh? Could Minobi actually hear her? Or is it something like telepathy? Why would you be surprised that she and Minob could communicate the same way you and Reimei can? Why would you even bother taking Reim away considering that you two have a telepathic link <laughs> anyway? If yeah. you wanted to, you could just be screaming in your head. <laughs> yeah, that too. Minobi comes floating back at any rate. Still carrying Reime by her clothes. What are you so grumpy for? I helped you when you were suddenly called on in class, too. Hey! Hey, the music. I listened to pain from the feedback of your power. Ah, uh, fine. I get it. I'm sorry. This is so unfair. And kind of scary that she's doing it. I don't want to think about what she could suddenly say. Yeah. <laughs> 
Seeing you two, I really know what they mean when they say best friends always fight. <laughs> Manobi bounces a little bit next to her. I guess that's supposed to be a nod. <sighs> Zomi, don't tell anybody what I said. Yep, I won't tell anyone. It's between us. Yeah, just keep it a secret. <laughs> but she was listening too. She might tell someone. Which one of them? She was listening? What do you mean? Reimei's sulking up on Nozomi's shoulder right now and glaring right at me. That means... You were listening to us. I would be thanked just like she was. <sighs> it's too embarrassing to say again. What? Aren't you grateful to me too? Then don't just thank her, I thank me too. Nozomu, why don't you thank her? Shut up! Busy body childhood friend. <laughs> I let out a big sigh and lightly pat Raymay on the head. Uh, you're just going to pat me? No whining. Okay, one of the spirits is going to pat Nozomi, and I really hope it's Minope that like bounces on her head. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Feel closely, is Minogue moving? It looks like she is, but that might be a optical illusion. Uh, no, I don't think so. It really looks like she is. It's weird. The way they did that, wow. Uh, how nice! I want to be patted too! Raymay suddenly smiles and nestles against my hand. It's probably because of Nozomi's plainly jealous remark. <laughs> well, if you pat me a little more, I can forgive you for not thinking me out loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll pat you then. <laughs> You're forgiven. <laughs> so nice. Honestly, maybe I've been infected by the atmosphere of the festival too. I never thought I'd be having this kind of conversation. But I cheered Nozomi up, so maybe it's not so bad. It's definitely a thing of Legend of Zelda. The very next day, Manobi signals our arrival. Next day, in the middle of the night. So is this 24 hours later, then? With that signal, we gather in the principal's office. We've been using it at the, as the brigade's HQ. Of course, all the students heard Manobi, too. Everyone's awake and getting ready to arrive in the next world. From what Sane said, though, they're just going to see us off. The world outside the school is completely dark. Apparently, we got here at night. That's about all we know so far. Though... Oh, that's about all we know so far, though. <laughs> though all we can do now is start investigating. All we can do now is start investigating. 
Once everyone's here and Sane finishes telling us about the students and leaves, Salas starts talking. We finally arrived at the world identified by Nozomu's best friend. Best friend! We have no data about this world. I've been looking for information, but so far my search has come up empty. Everyone, brace yourselves for anything. So, there are worlds even the Brigade doesn't know about. Yes, we usually gather as much information as we can before we arrive. But this time, it's a completely unknown world. Alright, how about we start by sending out an advanced group? Who knows what kind of trap would be waiting if everyone were charging out? Nozomu uh, will obviously be part of the search. You're going. I know. Then... We're going to... Understood. The rest... I will go as well. I volunteer as tribute! <laughs> Not good enough? Me too, obviously. Let's send out to a small group of us. Everyone shall go! <laughs> it's logic. I will go as well. That man may be out there. Hmm. Apparently, it's the same group as usual. <laughs> that, guess so. Just in case, you go too, Saul. Yeah, Roger. You're coming too, right, Talia? I am Saul's personal bodyguard. Like he needs one. Uh, like, like we <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Maybe I should try writing a visual novel sometime. Wait, half of it is uh random stuff, and the other half is reactions. <laughs> and most of the reactions are exactly how you react to it. <laughs> Leggy needs one. We don't know what's waiting for us. We cannot be careless. Yeah, with his new heal healing skill, he's the best solo we have next to Nozomu. Nozomu <laughs> has one of the best healing skills? No, I said... Ne ne <laughs> with his new healing skill, he's the best solo character we have next to Nozomu. Oh, best solo. I thought he says like the best healing next to Nozomi. It's like, did you mean Nozomi? No, he's better than Nozomi. 
Well, she would be better if you had taken that 45% thing. Was that an Izomi thing? No, she hasn't gotten a better healing skill yet. The 45 oh. was his. Oh, I thought that she could have taken a really big healing thing from Izomi. That's weird. Careless, huh? <laughs> He's splitting up this time. Sorry, but give up, Saul. What? Well, then I'll get to cut loose for once without that headache around. Okay. Alright. Be careful out there. Hang back, Nozomu. I need a word. Huh? Nozomu-kun, wait for the We'll wait for you outside, Nozomu. Uh, okay. Everyone leaves but Salas, Josita, and me. Sala stares at me with his sharp eyes, like he's trying to tell what I'm thinking. You are already aware that there are connections between you and Akatsuki, aren't you? I don't know if I can say that I am, but there is something between us, right? Ah, Danga. Yeah, but right now, you're just a man named Set Satoki Nozomu. Don't pay any mind to some pointless perceived fate. Yeah, I know. それが分かっているのなら何も言うことはない。気をつけて行ってこい。as long as you know that, I have nothing more to say. Be careful out there. I nod and leave. I've got to catch up to everyone waiting outside. Chirol and Ritsurushi, huh? Why would he bring Nozomu to this world? Senpai? Worried? Ah, Senpai, sir. Kongo no koto o kangaeru to na. Yeah, I am. What's going to happen now? Daijoubu yo. Kare, ii hyojou suru yo ni natta janai. Gakuen sai de. It'll be okay. He was looking pretty strong. I think something special might have happened at that festival. I hope so. Ah, in a drink. Ow! Damn it! Oh, he's here. What took you so long? Nothing important. I didn't expect quite the send-off, though. Looks like the entire school's out here. Scouting team's waiting by the gate. Okay, I feel as leader, see our time to go. Who's the leader again? You, of course. Everyone here believes in you, and isn't it a fact that we're all here because of you? Okay, that sounds like you're blaming him. <laughs> Knock it off already. 
You're the one who organized everyone. Well, I am happy to see everyone out here to see us off. Alright, let's get going. Yeah, let's go. We'll teleport as usual from the gates to whatever's outside of Manobi. I wonder what kind of world this will be. <laughs> Good luck out there. Be careful. Don't get hurt. I wave my hand back over my shoulder to them as we step forward into the world while it, where Zetsu's waiting. How long have we been going? Not long enough. Well, not too long. Almost. Well, we Good enough. <laughs> so, we will see this new world, or at least have a description of it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Consider considering these artists aren't all that too good about uh, drawing what they're describing. No, oh, I thought that Nizomo was just uh, visually impaired. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter one? <laughs> what is In our next episode. Thank y'all for watching and have a good one. Have a good one.